Welcome back. The United Nations General Assembly opens next month and is set to discuss a wide range of issues affecting the UN, including climate change and sustainable development goals, SDGs. But how much impact has the UN had on these matters and indeed on other international crises over the past 12 months? Well, the current president of the Assembly, Maria Fernanda de Espinosa, uh, joins me now. Welcome to uh, Global. You've been in position now for a, a, a year. Your term is due to uh, ex expire. When when you spoke last year, you talked about the potential catastrophe facing the world in terms of climate change and looking at SDGs. How much do you think has, has changed in that time? Well, I think this year has been very intense, a uh, lot of developments, but I think in terms of climate change, I think that this, there is greater awareness and, and greater commitment. We are preparing for a climate summit in September, and what we see is that public opinion kids at schools, uh, academia, civil society, the private sector, they're all thinking that we really need to scale up ambition. We really need to invest uh, in, a, in a wiser way. We really need to go green. I was very encouraged to hear uh, the prime minister uh, talking about green jobs, green economy. We need that kind of transition, but we need a change in the mindsets of people, the way we consume, the way we turn off and on the lights. And the UN Secretary General has been very vocal about this as well. He's spoken to Greta Thunberg, that uh, teenager who's uh, you know, articulated so many of her generation's concerns about climate change. But how are you going to scale this up when you haven't got some of the big key players on board? Well, I think member states have a big say there. That's why uh, UN is organizing uh, the climate summit in, in September. And we have said, please do not come with speeches, come with plans and America? commitments. Uh, well, in America, there is a, a very interesting developments, hundreds of cities that have committed to implement and deliver on the Paris Agreement. But even then, if we all meet the targets of the Paris Agreement, we, de we need to scale up. We know uh, already that it's not good enough. And uh, next year is the top, the limit to pick, uh, to pick emissions. And for that, there is a need for a so whole of society approach. And the UN is the big uh, convener, uh, is the, the bridge builder. And, but, and that's the work we've been doing. But many would say, wouldn't they, uh, that actually the UN is the big talking shop, the big convener perhaps as well, but with very little practical input in how change is made. And just looking uh, at the SDGs target as well by 2030, you know, financial systems are going to have to change, not only for SDGs, but climate change and everything else as well. What is the UN doing about that? Well, we have to remember that the SDGs, the 2030 agenda, was shaped by world leaders and by the UN. And this is our basic roadmap for the future. But it's going to cost, and according to some estimates, of course, $45 trillion. Which countries are going to change their financial systems to change that? Well, it is, it is not only countries. It is the international financial system. It is the private sector. It is the way we look at economy, the way we understand profit. Profit is about long-term sustainability in this case. It is about fighting poverty and inequality. You know, I think that um, the inequality gap is uh, becoming more and more, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, visible, and this cannot continue. I think that uh, the, the sustainable development goals, I call them the survival kit. We need to deliver on, on the end. We have also, uh, first day is going to be on climate change, but the second day is going to be the first ever uh, Sustainable Development Goals Summit. So and it's about greater ambition and wiser investment and an approach of the a whole of society approach for sustainability. All right, okay. Well, I'm sorry, we're, we are out of time. <laughs> Maria Fernanda Espinosa, thank you very much indeed. Uh, you have just, what, a few weeks left uh, before your success let's take Well, a month, and a we month. will prepare for the high level week. We, we hope that it's going to be a talk shop that really makes changes uh, at, uh, at the ground level. To talk and to discuss and dialogue is extremely important, Tim. And thank you very much for your uh, interest in the United Nations. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for joining us here on uh, Global.